Hey VC, what's up? It's Nate again. Um, quick update. I uh, went out to a couple of antique shops, antique malls today, and a uh, consignment shop uh, last week sometime, and uh, got some uh, good, inexpensive, very, uh, very good, very good stuff. Um, today I uh, went to one antique mall and found uh, something called the Steam Calliope, a rare musical instrument. That's from 1970. Um, apparently it's very, it sounds very much like a, uh, a circus or a carnival. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, uh, but I spoke to the uh, gentleman whose booth uh, I, uh, I bought it from and he said it's, it's a pretty neat sounding record. Um, it's got some uh, standards on here. It's got uh, Meet Me in St. Louis, uh, Tennessee Waltz. I want to get waltz again with when I waltz again with you. Bicycle built for two. Um, it's like a. Uh, it's got brass keys with a horseshoe. If you can see that, a horseshoe shaped um, manifold where all the steam valves are located. Um, I also got something by uh, Dick Hyman. Uh, these were both for a buck. Uh, this was a provocative piano. Um, I've shown a couple of others by him uh, with Moog organs. I have not heard him play the piano. From what I hear, he's quite. He was quite the uh, quite the virtuoso. Um, I can't wait to hear that one. Uh, I also got at another place uh, Madness. It's kind of a self-titled compilation. Uh, it's got it's got the yeah you know, like our house it must be love on it. Um, Night boat to Cairo, rise and fall. Uh, it's just a basic comp. Um, it's on Geffen. Pretty good record. I mean, <clears throat> pretty good track list. Uh, three bucks. Um, but also at that antique mall, I was I went to another booth, and there was a there was a whole big old stack. Um, and uh, the <laughs> the dealer wanted just some outrageous prices for it was really good stuff, but uh, whole it was like thirty five. He had a nineteen sixty two to nineteen sixty six like the Red album, the Beatles, for thirty five dollars. I laughed and walked away. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these are from the um, consignment shop I went to last Thursday, I believe. And uh, these are all three bucks. These next four or five. Um, George Harrison, Cloud Nine. Um, this is from uh, Traveling Wilbury uh, era. George Harrison, of course, it has got my mind set on you. And when we was fab, um, I haven't seen it. On, this is the first time I see it on uh, vinyl. I'm sure it's out there, but I just haven't really. <clears throat> seen it or haven't paid attention, so I mean, three bucks, I was gonna get it. I might as well. Um, George being my favorite Beatle. Uh, REM, this is the third REM album I've gotten in like three weeks, three or four weeks. Uh, Still in the Shrink uh, document. It's got the hype sticker, whoops, right here. Um, this is a great album. It's in uh, the vinyls in near mint minus condition. Uh, the, it's, it's in the shrink, the, aside from the, the cutout, the, uh, the overstock kind of cut right there, it's, the, the jacket is in near mint condition as well. Um, I found a, uh, Pickwick UK pressing of, uh, the Beatles featuring Tony Sheridan. It was, um, uh, pretty much known in this country uh, when it came out um, as the uh, the beginning years under uh, Polydor. I think it was Polydor Records. This is in the late 70s. Um, but I was pretty happy to see that one. Um, that's in pretty good shape too. Uh, this isn't in very good shape, but I had to get it just because it was uh, Colombian 
pressing of Axis Bold as Love by uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, it looks like the sleeves and a bit of water got a bit of water damage. This is the stereo copy, of course. Um, and it's it's kind of it needs to be glued up there, but uh, it sounds good. Uh, it's it's got some static on it. It's uh, and I I gave it a good cleaning, but it's still it doesn't skip or anything like that. It plays all the way through, and it'll suffice until I actually find. Uh, this was the only of the original experience releases that I didn't have access to love, and it'll have to do until I have a. Uh, uh, an upgrade copy of that, a U.S. pressing or U.K. pressing or something like that. Uh, also, Tool, Opiate, uh, their first EP. Uh, apparently, th there was a mispressing, and there, uh, on some of the mispressings, there were songs from Undertow on it. This isn't the, this is the, the Opiate pressing. It's got the, uh, the songs that are supposed to be on it. It's, uh, I was quite pleased to see this. You don't just see Tool around for like three bucks in a, out in the wild. Um, this, however, was the big thing I was really happy about seeing. Um, normally at the same shop, he has this uh, on CD and, you know, ten bucks because he also sells CDs. Um, but I haven't seen this, and I, when I first saw it, I thought, well, it's just another CD copy of it. But I looked, and it's a uh, six-record edition of Crossroads by Eric Clapton from 1988. Uh, this has, of course, this is the infamous box set that has stuff from the Yardbirds all the way to um, solo stuff in the 80s. Uh, it's got John Mayall... Cream, Blind Faith, Delaney and Bonnie, um, Derek and the Dominoes, and uh, all that solo stuff from the 70s and 80s. I was so pleased about that. Um, he gave me a pretty good deal on this one, too. I looked online, and I got uh, I got it for a steal. So that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't really been doing a whole lot of digging. Uh, I'm going to probably go to Black Friday record store day uh, if I feel like getting up that early I don't know I'll see um, the only thing I really have my eye out for is the uh, Velvet Underground live album from 94 and uh, if uh, if I get a copy of that then I'll, I'll definitely make a video and show it in the near future so uh, yeah until I see ya Next time, uh, thanks for watching.